In this question, it's maybe not totally obvious what the data statements are going to be giving us, but we know that we have a salary, a withholding, and a salary after withholding, which we can think of as an effective salary, the one after withholding, and therefore we can write E, the effective one, equals S minus W. For Maria, we have the same thing, but as far as we know, all the variables are different. So we might write Maria's equation as E2 equals S2 minus W2. Given that, let's go on to the data statements, evaluating them separately first, as always. Statement one gives us a couple pieces of comparative information. For Angela, E equals 0.8 S. For Maria, we have E2 equals 0.75 times S2. But we have a situation with four variables and two equations. If we could construct a ratio of E to E2 and determine whether it was greater or less than one, that would allow us to answer who has the bigger effective salary. But we have no information about how S and S2 compare. Therefore, statement one is insufficient. Statement two is similar. We have way more variables than equations and no way of establishing a direct comparison such as a ratio. Therefore, it's insufficient. When the statements are combined, we may have something because we believe we have four distinct equations and four variables. We can confirm this by writing out the equations. We have the two that we already knew, and we also have the two equations given to us by data statement two. The first and the third equation will allow us to determine E. The second and fourth equation will allow us to determine E2. We'll then be able to compare them directly. So together, we have sufficient data to answer the question. The correct answer is C.